Divided to God's bereaved servants coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Dutton Green invites you to visit our headquarters center located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 7 30 p.m. Sunday, noonday. Now, in case you're interested in reading some biblical literature, the mailing address is Bishop Dutton Green, P.O. Box 523. Brunch, New York, zip code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. We will now accept from the Columbia Radio Choir, dedicated to all our radio listeners in China. He's my everything.
The word of God stated in St. John chapter 15 and verse 1. I am the true vine. God said, He is the true vine. The true vine. My father is the husband man. My father is the husband man. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit. That beareth not fruit. He take it away. Say he take it away. Every branch that beareth fruit. Read on. He purge it. He purged it. That it may bring forth more fruit. Read on. Now you are clean through the word. You know, ain't no way you're going to end up to get clean without the word of God. Hallelujah. The word of God say you are clean through the word. One place, David said, well, are we all? Shall a young man cleanse his way? But by taking heed thereunto, yes. according to the word. It's a blessing when you give heed to God's word. You know, I got my interpreter here who helped me out so good this morning. Amen. Amen. You can come on back. Come on my mind. But the Holy Ghost said, Now you are clean through the word. Now you are clean. The word which I have spoken you know, to I want to reach out to all our Spanish speaking friends, are yes. uh, you calling in and writing in? And we are thanking God for you all. And calling and writing from many other different countries. I believe they read out almost two, 200. All over the world, this gospel is going out so many times, three, four times a day they are calling. My God, Tanzania, Zambia, and all these other countries throughout the world, Malawi and all these different countries all overseas, just coming back from Liberia, Africa, where God has really met us and blessed us. And the Lord did a mighty work. Over, we have about 104 souls. That, that's that. So we want to reach out. Nous sommes aussi par les Français. Si vous écoutez en français, maintenant, et justement, nous avons de l'église à travers des, des pays africains en Amérique, en Caraïbes et à travers d'autres pays. So we want to reach out to all our Spanish speaking and French speaking listeners and other ones with different dialects. Et ensuite, et nous sommes en train de prêcher l'évangile à travers les pays espagnols. We just want you all to know that we appreciate you calling in and listening we thank God for you all. J'aimerais vous savoir que nous sommes appréciant ce que vous avez fait parce que vous avez appelé pour parler comment que que l'évangile est arrivé à vous. But the word of God still stands. Que nous voulons que Dieu fait quelque chose pour vous. God in Saint John 15. Et Dieu que lorsque nous regardons dans le livre de Jean chapitre 15 and verse 4 abide in me dans le premier verset beloved in order for you to be saved et mes frères et sœurs ce que vous devez savoir pour sauver God said abide in me que Dieu a dit que sans moi and I in you and I in you, et moi en vous, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. All right, read on. Continue to read. Except they abide in the vine. Except they abide in the vine. 
Really? Ce qui sont attachés dans la ville. Really? No more can you accept your body and me. Really? Ce qui sont attachés dans la ville. I am in the I am the vine. I am the vine. Moi je suis que le je suis le que le fruit. Read on. Ye are the branches. He are the branches. He that abide in me. Read on. Que le le vraiment que le fruit est à moi. He he that abide in me. Que si que vous êtes en moi. And I in him. And I in him. Moi aussi je suis en vous. The same bring forth much fruit. Read on. Que sans moi on pourrait rien faire à porter les fruits. All right, go on. For without me, you can do nothing. That's what I want. Some want to do nothing. That's what I want. Some want to do nothing. I want the world to know. I want to know that everyone knows that. So many are trying to make it without God. Yes. So many people, well, so many people, Papa, mal des gens, vraiment qui sont. And God said, without Him, sans Dieu, you can't do nothing. We, so many out there trying to make it. Que ça, il y a beaucoup de gens que qui voulaient chercher Dieu, mais sans Dieu, on ne pouvait rien faire. But the Lord, you're making a failure because God said, without Him, you can do nothing. Et j'aimerais vous dire que sans Dieu, on ne pouvait rien faire. Now God told us in Matthew. Chapter 11, 28. Et maintenant, j'aimerais que ouvrez votre Bible dans le livre de Matthieu, chapitre 11. He said, Come unto me. Selon Matthieu, chapitre 11, verset 28. I want Don't try to stay out there and work it out on your own. N'essayez pas de travailler vous seul, de faire quelque chose vous seul. On peut y faire. Because you're making a failure. Parce que si que vraiment vous comptez sur vous-même, God says, vous allez échouer. God says, come unto me. Et Dieu a dit que venez à moi. All ye that labor, all ye that labor, vous tous qui êtes chargés, and are heavy laden, and are heavy laden, and fatigued, and I will give you rest. Je vais vous donner le repos. You see, God wants to give you rest, beloved. Voilà, mes amis, que Dieu va vous donner le repos. But in order for you to have it, you got to come to God. Mais ce que vous devez faire, vous devez venir à Dieu. Why? Because God said without Him, pourquoi? Yes. Dieu a dit que sans moi, we can do nothing. On peut rien faire. So, in order for you to come to God. Ce que vous devez faire, venez à Dieu. The first thing you got to do, you got to humble yourself. Et la première chose que vous devez faire, c'est de humilier vous-même. He spake this word in Second Chronicles. Et il a parlé seulement que dans le livre de deuxième chronique, seven and twelve. Et selon chapitre 7 à verset 12. If my people Si vous avez que vous si, si vous écoutez, par, si, si vous appelez mon nom, well, no humble, humble them, you know, si vous êtes humilié vous-même, quand vous venez à in order for you to get delivered, you gotta humble yourself. Que si vous si vous venez à Dieu, vous venez vous devez humilier vous-même. You know, on the day of Pentecost, que nous sommes une église apostolique. They humble themselves. Et nous même aussi que nous comment que nous sommes pliés. When they heard the gospel preached by Peter, et c'est pour cela que nous avons prêché l'évangile. They were breaking the heart. Et c'est comme ça que le Bonjour va toucher votre cœur. Saint Anne de Pila. Et vraiment que le Bonjour appelle à Pierre. I want to, I want to interpret that to break it down to you all. Et je veux parler de l'Évangile. Because when you when you stand before God, you're going to give account for the sky. Listen to what he said. Écoutez ce que la parole a dit. When they heard this, 
Let's go for something this hard. Let's break in the heart. Break in the heart. Oh, let the evangel touch the pair. And set on to Peter. Now, from that, on a day of year. And to the rest of the apostles. And to the rest of the apostles. Men and brethren. Men and brethren. What shall we do? Quel ferons-nous? Then be the children to them. Et Pierre a dit à eux, Repent. Repentez-vous. This is what you got to do, beloved. Mais pas ça. C'est ça que vous devez faire. Repentez-vous. They humble themselves. Repentez-vous. And be baptized. Repentez-vous. And be baptized.
For the word of God is going to live in and abide it forever. Thank God for our reading. Pastor Christ interpreting. Say it to the Holy Ghost. Say, make it plain. The world won't have no excuse when they stand before God. Now, if God people think they're going to forsake God and get away, ain't nobody going to get around God. Ain't nobody going to get around God. Everybody going to humble themselves under the mighty hands of God. That's why I thank God the Lord sent him and he's a good interpreter and thank God for him. Um, I'm going to read Habakkuk chapter 2. I'm not going to hold it long. I thank God for each and every one of you coming from far. The bus have to leave tonight. The saints heading back to, to headquarters, New Jersey, and, and heading back to New York. So we are very happy to have you. Thank God for your sacrifice. Lord, I pray and love you. God and his wife, my sister. Thank God, my husband. Thank God. Thank God for all the saints from far and near, from the different location. Thank God for you all right here at Columbia. Thank God for you all. Have the outpouring support, your sacrifice. Thank God for you, Bishop Randonat, Bishop Matt. And all of the Lord has done a wonderful work. I want to appreciate you, let you know, appreciate y'all. The brotherhood is uh, they always end up that on my birthday. The Judah missionary have a big day in the kitchen. But I thank God how the Lord bless them and make a all out sacrifice laboring so faithfully. So we are proud to thank God for each and every one of you. Thank God for the choir. Thank God we all have done a wonderful time. God bless you. We ain't going to hold you much too long. Read on in Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1. Verse 1. I will stand upon my watch. Read on. And set me upon the top. Up on the tower. And watch and see what. He will say unto me. What he will say unto me. What I shall answer. What I shall answer. When I am reproved. When I reprove. And the Lord answered me and said. I'm said. Write the vision. Write the vision. And make it plain upon the table. You know God wants us to make it plain. He don't want us to try to. Uh, you know, get around it. God wanted to let the people know if you if you fail and refuse to line up and obey the word of God, not know. Sometimes I hear people say you might be lost. Oh no, you're gonna be lost when you disobey God's word. I God listen what God say here and uh, make it plain. God wanted this preacher to make it plain. Don't, I said, don't add and don't take away. God wanted it to be plain. Make it plain upon the tablets. Make it plain. Make it plain that if they fail to obey God's word, they're going to be lost. Oh, what about the one that were here and gone? Yes, and gone back in the world. You want to know what happened? Jeremiah chapter 17, 13. My God, because sentence against an evil work is not expedited speedily. The heart of the Son of Man is fully set in them to do evil. Though I sin I do evil a hundred times, and it seems like it takes very long. Yet surely I know it's going to be well with the righteous, but it won't be well with the wicked. You know why it won't be well? Listen, Jeremiah 17, 13. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. The hope of Israel. He is the hope of Israel. All that is safety. I don't care what this one say, what the next one say. I'm going to what God's word say. 
The prophecy came not in old land of time by the will of man, but holy man of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So it moved up by Jeremiah. And Jeremiah said, Oh, that forsake thee. That forsake thee. They shall be ashamed. They shall be ashamed. They that depart from me. How are you going to depart from God and, and, and prosper? Oh, when God said without them we can do nothing. I don't care how they call. I'm warning the ones them that are out there and the ones that are here the enemy they are shining it. There is a way that seems right unto a man but the end thereof is death. Oh, yeah, that's a sin. Me, you fool around and let the devil pull you out there. God said, Oh, and he said, There is no respect of person with God. Why did he say the one Lord over Israel? I have to say, Thee, oh, that to say, Thee. Everyone yes. shall be ashamed. The rich man gonna be ashamed. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. because he called and you refuse, he said, Oh, yeah. not so. Yeah. I feel like blowing the trumpets. Yeah. You not done God all out there. Yeah. God said, Oh, yeah. he shall be ashamed. Do you hear what God said? Oh, that forsaken shall be ashamed. Shall be ashamed. They that depart from me shall be written in the earth. People so bold. Yes, I'm gonna leave God. Yes, I'm gonna leave him, depart from him for a while, and come on back. Who tell you you're going to have a chance to come back? The way life going, so many dying in the street. The devil want to take you out there and destroy you. He want to destroy you. Oh, that forsake, you know the footnote, young ones, middle aged, poor, he said, all mean all. Oh, oh that the city shall be okay if you to call yourself a preacher yes. and forsake God. I'm giving you God's word. God is no respect of person. You know, preacher gonna be in hell. Oh, yes. I see preacher gonna be in hell. My God, you better start preaching. My God, one place you say you did not run well. But who handle you? That after you don't preach and deliver so many people. Paul said, Lest I preach to others. Yeah. And I myself gonna be a castaway. Yeah. You know that's why you gotta examine yourself. Yeah. Even the preacher got to put the word on his own self. My God, my God. Why? Because all oh, the you shall be ashamed. Preacher gonna be in here. I know there was a certain preacher that man he read. He was one of Bishop Good first off the Bible read and you that man could read so strong and preach on the street. My God, when you hear him read, you couldn't tell where who was the preacher. My God, when a bishop good read my God, but let me tell you. The man of God warning. Let them, don't play with God. Amen. But you all can turn back up the ear. They will complain this too hot now to put it on the coat. But don't worry, I'm not going to make it comfortable. For you. I'm going to sit down sharply. I want to leave this with you. Listen what he's saying. All that forsake thee, all that forsake thee shall be ashamed. How are you going to forsake God and prosper? 
how are you going to forsake God? You know that thing. Every time a pastor cleans three blocks from the church. I thought about our right there that Wednesday night, the late Bishop Ronald Goodwin morning. Let this be your last time. You go out there, you may not make it back. But there is a way that seems right to a man. But the end thereof is death. You know, the devil, the, 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 the devil. He's an enemy of all righteousness. So the enemy come and entices. Yes, yes, and after that strong warning that Wednesday night, you know that man went back. Got a car, he got one of those yellow cab with the Madonna and the top. And then he get lifted up. Nobody could tell him nothing. He feel like the church was too small for him. So he wanted to go down for the second street airport. But let me tell you, he must save God. And the same act going home from prayer that night near my family, me and my son, to the children and little girl, would see the bad accident. You know, God will do you in now. Amen. God will do you in for going against him. I mean, that was a terrible way to die. Amen. The man was driving his car, he kicked back with the woman in the back, a lawful one in the back, and two cars came. Both cars hit him, and both sides. Mm. The car hit him, and when it hit him, I happened to show him up. I see the police the tape and black. I said, anybody got hurt? He said, one man got killed. You know who was that one man? The man Bishop Goodwin said, let this be your last time. You go out there, you may not make it. And you know what? The woman that he had in the back, Came out like godly, leaving dead by me. You don't play with God, saints. God, is, our God is a consuming fire. He said, Oh, you might seem like you're doing well now, but there is a way that seems right. But look at the end. He said, Oh, that for safety, that for safety shall be ashamed. Shall be ashamed. They that depart from me. They that do you hear what God said? Ain't no way you're gonna depart from God and prosper. Yes, they that depart from me shall be laid in the earth. You may why? Because they have forsaken the Lord. The how, can, the Lord. how can you forsake God and prosper? Because they have forsaken the Lord. The fountain of living water. The fountain? Fountain of living water. You're not going to forsake God and prosper. That's why he spoke through the same Jeremiah. In Jeremiah 3 and 11. When he tells us, Jeremiah, go proclaim this. In the ear. The Lord said unto me, Yes. The backslide of Israel justified itself. And the people are gone and out there justified. It's a reason why. All right. The devil that deceived them. The devil is a deceiver. He's a deceiver. He know where he's going, but he don't want to go by himself. He want to take as many as he can with it. The devil and the God with a justification. Why? They leave. But the devil that deceived them, the devil know where he's going where? In the lake of fire and brimstone. Proclaim these. Yes. Lord said unto me, the backslide is here. Read on. Justify himself more than church and Jews. The worst thing you can ever do is start get out there and try to justify 
All you have to do, humble yourself Amen. and repent. If you can repent, there is forgiveness with God. If you know God will forgive you, God will clean you up. You know there is repent, there is forgiveness with God. He said, repent. All God wants us to do is to humble ourselves. Don't try to go up against God. Don't let your God himself get it angry with God. You get angry with your maker? Because he expect God. He want God to do what he wants. And when God turn around and forgive the people, he call himself get angry. God do what he please. Salvation belongs to God. You can't tell God go kill somebody. God don't work like that. God turn around and save them. God, you, all you got to do, humble yourself. You, know, you want God to kill somebody and God turn around and save that person. And God, you know, you know, look at Paul. Paul was an injurious man. Paul was beating up the saints, putting them in prison, compelling them to blaspheme them. when Paul got saved. You know they was afraid. The disciple was afraid to join himself. They said, who? This man? Even Ananias thought back to God. Lord, who are you sending me to? Yes. <laughs> Wait, Lord. I know you love me. Who are you sending me to? I got a man out there. <laughs> so, the one, I'm saying to the one beating and persecuting the same. My God, I'm sending him to you, Ananias. And Ananias said, Lord, I heard Ananias talking back to God. I heard someone evil. I heard my man. By many. How much evil you have done? This has done so much evil to the saints. I can say, I do listen. Yes. He has the authority from the chief priest. The chief priest give him authority. All that call on thy name. To do what? By all that call on thy name. And you want me to just go over him and call Jesus. Read on. But the Lord said unto him, Go the, thy way. Go thy way. He is the chosen vessel unto me. What a mighty good God said. I got him. He has chosen vessel unto me. Bear my name before the Gentiles. Read up. The kings and the children of Israel. Read up. For I will show him how great things he must suffer. No, he prayed. He, he ain't beating up the saints no more. He prayed now. I don't knock him. I knock his sight out of him. He got to see. They're leading him around. That's the God we serve, say. That's how great God is. Go to Psalms 1, 130 and 1. What is it? Out of the depths. Yeah. Have a thought, cry unto God. Psalms 130 and verse 1. Out of the death. Out of the death have I cried unto thee, O Lord. I cry unto If you can only cry unto God. Yes, yes. If my people, yes. which are called by my name, yes. shall humble themselves yes, and pray. And pray. You know God want us to pray. God want us to humble ourselves and cry out to God. Read on. Out of the death have I cried unto thee, O Lord. And to thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. You know, Lord, if you can just get God to hear your voice. Hear. Hear my voice. Lord, if I can just get you to hear my voice. Read on. Let thy ears be I know so many calling, but hear my voice. My God, what he said. Of my supplication. Read up. If thou, Lord, shall mark iniquity. Listen what he said. If you, Lord, should mark iniquity. O Lord, who shall stand? O Lord, who shall stand? There is forgiveness with thee. God, I'm so glad God is not like man. Who then could be saved? But the Holy Ghost said, there is 
forgiveness. There is forgiveness. There is forgiveness with thee. God is a just God. That thou mightest be fear. Yes, that thou mightest be fear. Real. I wait for the Lord. I wait on and wait on God, saints. Don't try to justify yourself. Don't try to justify yourself. Amen. One and when two men went up, prayer, and one tried to justify himself. Lord, I thank you. I'm not like this God. Lord, I give this. I give this. I'm telling God what I'm wanting to Yes. But that poor publican, yes. and then he, he was so, you know, that's why you got to pray an honest prayer. Oh, yes. The man, rather than just leave people alone, he jumped on the publican. Yes. <laughs> he, he, uh, God already know our words. Yes. He said, I thank thee, I do this, I fast yes. two times a week. God know how many times you fast. Yes. He know all men. Did he say that? Yes, and he know what's in men? Yes, and he had no need right. for men to testify of men. Right. Because he know all men. Yes. So here he goes, stand before God. Lord, I thank you. I'm not like other men. Mm -hmm. Why are you bothering other men? Yeah, That's why Peter preached on the day of Pentecost. Save yourself. Amen. Peter never said bother other men. Anything about bother other men. Oh, he said, Save who? Yes, yes, and Paul came behind and said, Examine yourself. Leave other men alone. That's what the people tell him. They say, I love your preaching. You get up and you preach the word. You ain't bother other men and calling name. Here, Bishop Johnson had gone on to sleep, preach the gospel, and did his job. People going off there and calling him lying. Yes, you know they're going to give account for that. Yes, yes, yes. Bishop Goodwin had gone on, they calling him lying. Amen. But you know you're going to do, whether you say it's idle word, it's just a few idle words I was speaking. Well, you're still going to give account. Because the Holy Ghost said, every idle word that man shall speak in the day of judgment. You're going to give a cup. Leave other men alone. Lord, I thank thee. I am not. Did you know that's a that don't matter in our scripture? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, it's there in Luke. Chapter 18 on down. Yes. Uh, running on down. The verse where we are two men went up in the temple to pray. Oh, you. you don't have to go up to try to all pray no matter. Oh, yeah. Pray an honest prayer. Yeah. Amen. You know, Anna got the victory. Yeah. But you know, Anna voice didn't even yeah. Only our yeah. lips move. Yeah. Sometimes we can just lay the poor God. Yeah. And God meant he that searcheth the heart. Yeah. Knowing what is the mind of the spirit. Sometimes you're going through so much, you can hardly get the words out. Before you get one word, something else coming at you. Enemy warring in your mind. My God, you got to cry out to God. What he says, sir? Two men did stand afar. Let me read. Two men went up in the temple. One a Pharisee. And one a public. You Two men went up into the temple to pray. Yes. One a Pharisee and the other a publican. A publican. A Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. <laughs> he stood and prayed. Well, if that's how we chose to pray, he's doing all right. Mm -hmm. But when he get in trouble, yes. was when he started to bother other men. Yes. Read on what he did. Right. Stood and prayed with himself. Read on. God, I think that I'm not as other men are. The first thing he jumped off from, I thank thee. The first thing he opened his mouth, he jumped out wrong. And not as other men are. Yes, extortioner. Listen to this. What? A just. A just. A daughter. A 
God, even at this public, hey, oh, she, so you think God doesn't know who we pay He knows all men. Then he jumped, he said, you know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the publican. We are. I fast twice in a week. Even to tell God how much it costs. We are. I get tired of all that I possess. God know whether that's something, God, you got to do. Yeah. Uh, these people that need your heart to have done. Yes. And don't leave the rest undone. Say so you have to pay your tithes. We are. And the public stand up all would not lift up so much as that the poor eyes. public and he beat him down so much. He wouldn't even lift up his eyes. And unto heaven. Are you read up? But smile upon his breast saying, Smoke up. He beat him so much he could only smoke up on his breast. Saying, saying God, be merciful unto me, a sinner. Lord. Yes. Oh, yes. Lord, be merciful. I'm coming to you, Lord. You the Father of mercy. Hallelujah. You the God of all comfort. Lord, He done beat me down so bad. I just need some mercy. Be merciful to me a sin. To me a sin. I tell you. Listen, my God. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified. Justified. Rather than the other. Rather than the other. And one that exalted himself shall be abased. Everyone that exalts oh, yeah. himself oh, yeah. shall be a base. And he that hung himself oh, shall be a Do you hear this oh, saying? The greatest victory yes. is when you can humble yourself yes. under the mighty hands of God, and he shall exalt you. Yeah. God bless you. God bless you. If thou, Lord, should not in, who shall stand? But there is what? And with thee is plenary redemption. God bless the God. Amen.